Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nissa and today we... Oh, that was flashing lights. Anyway, uh, today we are looking at another mod and today we are looking at a remaster. Remember, remasters do not add new animals. They change the ones that are already in the game from Frontier. Um, so, in this case, it is the Sable Antelope and it's made by Nawaler. Um, I will just say we can jump, just need to click the right button here. We can jump in here and see this is Nexus where you can download the mod, uh, created by Nawaler, of course. Um, and uh, yeah, link is in the description. Uh, but here I bring the link to disable antelope with this remaster and add two new variants based on subspecies, which I find very interesting. I would rather have the subspecies as their own species in the game, but especially since there have for a while been this limited number of animals you can have on the game that I think is removed by now. Um, then I understand it a little more. You can also here support him if you want this, of course. He also write, This mod update the look of the existing sable antelope, Hippotaku Sneaker. Uh, it slightly improves the proportions and improves the textures of the coat. That is the main issue with a lot of the uh, uh, official... Uh, frontier animals. Two new variants based of the subspecies Eastern Sable Antelope and Giant Sable Antelope. Uh, each subspecies have different facial markings. However, clearly since once of them are called giants, I do not expect there to be a size difference since they still uh, need to be the same animal in the game. The remaster changes the look of male and female. New UI Im images for Shopedia, fur description, text for each variants available in English, Spanish, sorry, English, Spanish, Spanish, French, Swedish by Stalagmite, Portuguese and uh, Dutch by Monsoon and German by Ferrer. Huge thanks. And again, this is a XC mod. He does explain the installation here. I do also have a video by leaf below listed so you can go and look at that. Uh, we're not going to look all of the pictures, but you can see here he does showcase the difference between the variations. Um, let's go into the game. Here we are. This is, of course, a female. Uh, I did get the markings, but I don't think I get, got them for the males. Um, this is the standard. You can see the white here have this split down here. One being longer than the other. That's the drawing or marking. I know it got it. This is one of the uh, new ones where you can see the one that elongated on the other one goes further down here and splits around the nose uh, and the last last this one i know i have it unless it just died in the meantime while i was saying the other stuff it's here where it doesn't have that split it only goes downwards that is the different uh, markings I'm not sure if he added colorations, but we have black for the male. We have dark brown coat with white markings for the female. We have red brown coat with white markings. And then we have a tan coat with white mar markings. So that's pretty much what we have to live with. Uh, I haven't found anything else for males. Of course, they should have those three marking differences, but colors I haven't found. Uh, just want to show you, we are not going to go through Zoopedia at all, but here you can see the beautiful, beautiful pictures they added. I'm not sure if... Yeah, this is also... It's the same picture. 
Um, so yeah, that's what they added in there. I am curious, especially with the male, because as you know, black is not only black. And what I noticed earlier is that it actually is a little bit red or red brown. You can especially see it down here, which I really do appreciate. You can also see all of this fur texture is really, really, really nice. We have a little blurriness going over here, but it is the game. I do not blame the mothers for this. Uh, that's just a fluffiness issue. And you can see as we glade over it, it constantly has some place that looks nice. Even here when we look up, this looks a little off. But from here, it looks nicer. Oh, that didn't look nice. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, funny. Anyways, that's the main changes that's been done. I do not think they changed anything else. I can just, again, pull off this picture. Uh, I think... Oh. I think it's really clear that this black is black or blacker, even though I just stated that it has orange. Uh, but where Frontier's version looks more gray in the color. Um, just a small uh, thing. The picture down here is taken from Supedia, so it is one that Frontier chose themselves. So I didn't. I just don't want to take a picture I took because then you could claim it on the picture. This is Frontier's choice. Um, the other colorations also look really nice in the fur texture. You can see it looks a little bit different here with the color going on. It is generally harder or easier to hide things with black unless it's because it looks flat. Here, I really, yeah, I know it's not to show you the butthole. It's to show you the texture here. This is the uh, babies and they look nice. I think they look really, really nice. Can I, in general, all of this mud looks really, really nice. Again, beautiful. Um, I'm not sure myself which subspecies is which. Of course, if I made a speed build for them, I would go into it. Uh, but at this point, it's not something I have checked up on. Nick does a weird thing there, but a lot of animals does that in the game. Um, it looks nice. Yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say. It looks really nice. And again, these small details, especially with more colorations, just give your game more, or the animals in your game, more personality, which I highly do appreciate. He didn't say that he changed anything for the babies, but I think the fur texture looks nice on them. Um, you can also just see when we look here, all of the different colorations just bring in life, which I'm really here for. Uh, anyway, there's no reason to make this video longer than it has to be, I think. Um, so yeah, here we are, another remaster, but another beautiful remaster. Again, that's not something you can blame the mother for at all. Uh, not at all. Beautiful, beautiful female we have laying here. So beautiful. Yeah, I'm in love with this, <laughs> as you can probably see. So yeah, guys. We're gonna end it here, and as always, you know the drill, like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.